Giovanni Ortiz, um, a black belt under Cliff Fonseca at One Nation Jiu Jitsu. Um, I mean, I've been training for over close to 15 years now, but competitively doing it for right around 10. I mainly play uh, guard, but uh, more than anything, whatever position I'm put in, I, I know where to, I'm pretty well rounded in, and so I I don't feel um, lost in that in that aspect. Um, if anything, I'm pretty well rounded. If you want to stand up and do takedowns, we can do takedowns. If we want to, if you want to pull, I'll try to pass your guard, pressure in. Um, if I'm on bottom, I'll do the same thing. I'll try to attack the entire time. Um, and obviously, with my <laughs> my username on on Instagram, it's relentless triangles. So I'm always really known for my triangles. If they're always there, if not, then I'm I'm attacking constantly. Yeah, uh, I actually do like that. The uh, I actually do believe like the choke. Uh, choke being the highest scoring uh, submission in, in like throughout the whole rule set is uh, is pretty accurate. Um, I mean, I think in my opinion, like it's hard to like, especially at a very like high level, it's hard to just get a choke on someone. Whereas like you can grab onto a leg and you know you know slap on a foot lock. So I, I'm, I'm honestly excited about it, um, and especially with like the roster that we have for this season too. Uh, it makes it even more exciting. I definitely I'm here to win. Uh, there's stuff I'm giving up uh, leaving from home and then coming here um, and doing that obviously it's like time with my daughter too you know even though that that's um, even though it's just a week uh, it's still time that I'm not getting back and so I'm not just uh, coming out here and uh, just doing it because I just want to be here I want like I want to win this uh, Caleb and, and Elijah for sure are, are probably I feel like the toughest guys on the roster um, but the the top guy and for sure we all know it's it's Elijah <laughs> I know me and him have had matches in the past um, but I think that he, uh, me and him have, have grown uh, past the grapplers that we were when we first or when we last competed against each other um, so I'm, I'm it's gonna be really interesting going against him uh, come around uh, season two or season three <laughs> I'm I'm a little bit different than everybody else. Um, I, I bring a style that like um, where I like I've mentioned before. I'm I'm well rounded in all areas, and there's you know um, I feel like there's a few guys in the in the roster that have a single game, and I'm not just saying that just to uh, talk any smack or anything like that. But I just I've watched video, and so um, and I see there's areas that I can capitalize on a lot, and so. Um, and plus, I've been doing this for a while, and uh, I'm pretty experienced. Based on like my competition experience, like I've gone against guys that are, are pretty tough too, and and, I, and I've seen what I'm capable of, whether I've lost you know by by inches or just lost to them, period. But I, I know what I'm fully capable of, and uh, and I just know how I train, and and I believe in my training and how hard what what I what I put in on daily, and so uh, yeah, that's what that's where I get my my confidence from. <laughs> One thing that I definitely added to this year was uh, my weightlifting. So that's definitely been done, played a big part in, in like my training and all that, and uh, drilling a little bit more. Uh, I'm doing training like a professional athlete should. Keep watching because I'm gonna be here for a while. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'll stick around to 170 if hopefully one day I'll. I'll if you guys ever have 185 or possibly a 205. Uh, I'll, I'll, do, I'll try to jump on that too. So we'll see. We'll see how everything goes. But yeah, if you're watching this, uh, let's let's do it. Let's, y'all enjoy. <laughs>